Okay, so we have a question right here. It basically says that a student exercises by lifting weights attached to a machine. The machine has a cable as shown in the photograph. The cable passes through a handle and is connected to a weight. There is a tension T in the cable. The angle between the two sides of the cable is 60 degree as shown in the diagram. The a person keeps this cable stationary by applying force F of 121 Newton to determine the magnitude of tension T in the cable using a scaled vector diagram. Okay. So now, okay, so first of all, we will draw a rough idea for the scaled vector diagram and then we will convert it into scaled version, right? So first we will actually draw this diagram here which is tension acting here and then at some angle the second tension is acting over here right this is your 60 degree now as you know the head to tail rule for the vector diagram which is this is your first line right and your second line starts from the head of the first line right so this is your second line which is this tension right here right and we don't know at what angle is basically you know this line is occurring right so we need to find it out there are two ways to find it out the first way is actually drawing basically basically making this this first line I'll go a little bit back so it's theta uh, sorry not theta t and this is your another t and this is still an imaginary line here which is at 60 degree right so basically this will be 120 degree right how because your straight line is 180 degree angle right so if you subtract 180 from 60 you will get 120 degree right so now this is the 120 degree angle the second way is to use the parallel parallelogram so now if you draw this thing again which is your t here and your t here right t t sorry uh, wait one minute t outside t outside and then you can draw the same thing again t here and then t here as well this is your parallelogram right now this is was your 60 degree angle and if you draw the imaginary line this is your 60 degree angle as well according to your according to the circle theorem rules right so now if you do the same thing subtract it again to find this angle it will be 120 degree right so it's the same thing happening as above but using the another matter right the parallelogram stuff okay so now what we will do is we will try to write basically make this force this a rough idea of force right which is f the resultant force which is from the tail of the first line till the head of the second line right this is your f which is 121 newton now how to draw a scale diagram this is your rough idea okay now how to draw the scale diagram and find the magnitude or basically the value of the tension right and yeah i forgot to mention one more thing that th if this is 120 then basically as you can see that this is the tension value this tension value and this tension value right this these tension value are actually both same so basically this is making an isosceles isosceles triangle i hope i wrote the spelling right isosceles triangle so basically these two angles are actually same and if you basically notice that this is 120 right so in order to make it a whole triangle which is a triangle consists of an angle of 180 a whole 180 degree right so 180 minus 120 is basically again 60 right and you divide it by 2 so it will be half so this will be 30 and this will be 30 as well okay so now to draw a scale vector diagram you need to have a scale first so scale will be 1 let's say 1 centimeter to uh, 10 newtons right so basically your 121 newtons will be how much of the centimeter it will be basically uh, if you divide it 121 by 10 it will be 12.1 centimeter right okay so now if you basically draw the line basically scale vector diagram right so remember this is your horizontal line okay so just use your d and check where the 30 degree comes and then you will extend the line this which is your f line you will extend it till 12.1 centimeter right and then now basically here's the important part now you will place 
DD again over here. This is your D, right? You place the D again over here in this line right here. Okay. And then you will check where the 120 degree comes, right? For example, it comes right here, the 120 degree, right? You will draw that 120 degree with some somewhere like like this and these two just matches in right so basically then you will measure the t values from here right make sure that you measure the both of the t values because you need to check whether you have drawn the scale vector diagram right or not because if one t value is much greater and the other t value is much less then that means that you have not drawn the scale diagram properly so you have to be sure about that. So this is your 120 degree, right? And this is your 30 degree again. And that way you will get your T value. And so according to the mark scheme, your range should be from 65 Newtons till, you know, uh, sorry, to 75 Newtons, right? So if it's within this range, then your answer is actually correct, okay? So basically this is how you solve this for Mark's question. So part B says that the cable is attached to a 150 weight Newton weight. Each time the person pulls the handle, the weight moves up a vertical distance of 0 0.25 meter. Okay. The weight returns to its original position when the handle is released. The person exercises by pulling and releasing the handle. They do it this 90 times in 120 seconds. The exercise machine displays the average power of the person as 35 watt. Deduce whether the power displayed by the machine is consistent with this data. Okay, so we need to figure out the power if the power basically the power that we calculate will match the 35 watt power that is displayed by the machine. Okay, so the power formula is power is equals to work done by time okay so we don't have work done so how we will find work done work done formula is work done is equals to force times displacement right displacement so we have force which is 150 newton and we have displacement which is 0 0.25 meter right so 150 times 0 0.25 which is actually 30 7.5 joules right so now we can input this into power which is power is equals to work done 37.5 joules into 90 right because this much of work done because this work done is for just mm. one set okay now he does they do it like at least 90 sets right 90 sets means 19 times right so if they do it 90 times we have to multiply the work done for one set with 90 set right so it's basically 37.5 uh, multiplied by 90 divided by the time which is 120 seconds right they took 120 seconds to the to do these 90 sets right so basically your power will be what will be 28.1 watts now if we can see that the power that we have written does not match the power that they have given make sure you also round it off which is 28 watt right because they have given us the watt in two significant figures right so basically they don't match at all so we can say that 35 watt is not equal to 28 watt so basically the power displayed by the machine by the machine is not let me write here consistent consistent right so basically this should be your final answer right